Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Today I'm very pleased to introduce you to the Ultimaker 3. This is Ultimaker's latest desktop 3D printer. It offers dual extrusion along with a bunch of exciting features and I'm going to take you through some of those today in this video. So here we have the Ultimaker 2 Plus on the left and the Ultimaker 3 on the right. As you can see, very similar designs. Ultimaker stuck with what works there. But uh, the Ultimaker 3 offers dual extrusion and a wide range of new features that we're going to touch on here today. It makes for a very exciting printing platform. I've had the opportunity to test this for the last few weeks and uh, it's been quite a joy. So the Ultimaker 3 is being introduced in two different models, just like the 2 series was. There's the regular Ultimaker 3, and there's the Ultimaker 3 Extended, which provides four additional inches of uh, build volume in the Z direction, that is height. The most notable new feature on the Ultimaker 3 series is dual extrusion. Ultimaker has incorporated dual nozzles using swappable print cores. There are two different types of print cores, AA for handling build materials of different types, and BB for handling PVA dissolvable support. Two AA print cores are included with the printer, as well as one BB core, so that you have a wide range of possibilities at your disposal. The print cores also have illuminated color LEDs to indicate the temperature status for additional safety, blue for cool or red for hot. Ultimaker came up with a pretty ingenious way of providing clean dual extrusion prints. They incorporated a mechanical switch in the rear of the printer that actually raises and lowers the height of the right hand print core so that while one nozzle is printing the other one is out of the way and doesn't run into your print and doesn't ooze on your print. This provides uh, very clean dual extrusion printing capabilities. Now with the dual extrusion capabilities comes the ability to use PVA dissolvable support. This is water soluble support and it allows you to print any kind of complex geometry you can imagine, things that just weren't possible on the Ultimaker 2 series. You just drop your finished print into water, leave it overnight, and all that PVA support dissolves away, leaving you with a nice clean print. The Ultimaker 3 also includes wired and wireless connectivity, which combined with the onboard camera provides for a nice range of monitoring and remote management capabilities when using the new version of Cura software. The printer's dual spool holder on the rear incorporates NFC communications. The new Ultimaker brand materials have an NFC chip embedded in the spools, and this allows the printer to auto-detect what type of material you have loaded. This in turn is seamlessly integrated with the new version of Cura software, and this makes setting up your print jobs easier than ever. Now, Despite these new features, Ultimaker does still offer an open filament system, so if you wish, you're still welcome to experiment with other materials of your choice. Other notable new features include a new and improved heated build plate, which is twice as rigid and 20% lighter than the previous design, leading to cleaner prints. There's also a new and improved cooling system. There are powerful low noise fans incorporated with two new radial fans and fan shrouds. It creates a great deal of pressure buildup for an improved airflow, and this provides better cooling and higher quality bridging in your prints. The Ultimaker 3 also features dual geared feeders, which provides exceptional material handling. These feeders exert more force on the filament and also eliminate heat exposure from the motor. You can change your 3D materials easily, select the correct pressure with a push on a button, and use the lever function to manually insert or remove a filament. Now onto the software side of things. With the new version of Cura, you have a lot of new features for the Ultimaker 3 printers. With the network connectivity and the new spools from Ultimaker, you have auto detection of the materials that are loaded within the printer, and that will help you to set up your print profiles easily. In the simple print setup mode, you can easily get print jobs ready to go by simply selecting the amount of infill, whether you want print bed adhesion, and whether you want support. Then you slice your print job and it's ready for the printer. In advanced mode, you can set a wide variety of print parameters to get complete control over your prints. They've added a lot of new features here, especially some for dual extrusion, so that you can select what you want each extruder to do. If you go to the advanced setup under preferences, you'll see that there are a whole range of other settings that you can turn on so that you get even more control. Setting up a dual extrusion print job is very easy with this new version of Cura. You'll open two different STL files, one for each extruder to print. Cura will place those objects on the build plate, and as you can see at first, they're separated. But you'll select each model and assign an extruder using the 
per model settings dialog. Once you assign a different extruder for each of the objects, you'll then right click and select all models, and then right click again and select merge models. As long as these STL files were created with the same origin point, they'll automatically be aligned within Cura and you're ready to set up your print job. Then using the Layers view option, you can get a real nice preview of your print job, exactly how it's going to be printed, including your Prime Tower if you've enabled that option, which is a great feature to give you nice clean dual extrusion prints. You can then scroll through the layers and see exactly what's going to be printed, including your infill and everything else. Once you've got everything set up the way that you want, you can easily start your print job right over the network without even having to load it onto a USB stick. You can then go to the monitor view and you'll get a direct feed from the camera built into the printer to monitor your print. It also shows you the current temperatures of each extruder and the build plate and gives you a time estimate for the print to finish. These time estimates are extremely accurate now with this new version of Cura. I did an 11 hour print job and it finished within about five minutes of what the estimate originally said when I started the job. And Cura also supports multiple printers, so you can easily add any of your 3D printers and then control each one of them through this same interface. So with the new capabilities offered by the combination of Ultimaker's latest hardware, materials, and software, you can achieve amazing results. So stop by shop3duniverse.com today and check out the new Ultimaker 3 and Ultimaker 3 Extended. Thanks for watching.